In this short video, I'm going to go over just um, some math review using this symbol of um, sum of, right? So we're going to focus more on this sum of symbol. So our data set here is uh, 6, 2, 4, and 2. So our n, our number of people in the sample, um, our number of scores is 4. Okay, so I want to find out my sum of x, right? My sum of x squared, sum of x squared, sum of x minus 2, right, the sum of x minus 2 squared. Okay, so I filled in this first column here, right, again, this is just our raw scores. So we have our raw scores of 6 and 2 and 4 and 2. And again, um, at the very, very bottom, we're just going to have this be our sum. So the first one is um, sum of x, right? So sum of x is just adding up uh, 6 and 2 and 4 and 2. So my sum of x is 14. Okay. And I have a little running uh, tally over here. I'm going to put all my answers over. So next one is um, x squared. So if I square 6, I get 36. Square 2, I get 4. When I square 4, I get 16. And again, 4 is 2. So sum of x squared is just me adding up 36 and 4 and 16 and 4. So my sum of x squared is 60. Now take a look how this one feels different um, than this one, right? So the first question I asked you was, what's sum of x squared? This one right here is sum of x squared. Do you hear that pause? I'll do it again. So first one is just sum of x squared versus sum of x squared. Now, sum of x squared, we just take sum of x, this number right here, and we square it, right? So we don't really need to do any kind of calculations. So sum of x squared is um, 14 squared, or 14 times 14, or 196, okay? See how these two numbers are different? I mean, they're two different calculations, right? So sum of x squared, taking all the x's, 6 and 2, and, um, sorry, um, uh, 36 and 4, and 16 and 4, um, and just adding up those squared x's is different than um, squaring all the sum of x's. Okay, x minus 2. So I'm just going to take x minus 2, or 6 minus 2. So in this square, it's going to be a 4. 2 minus 2 is 0, right? 4 minus 2 is 2, and 2 minus 2 again is 0. Now when I sum up, I add 4 and 0 and 2 and 0. So my sum of x minus 2 is 6. Okay. Sum of x minus 2 squared. So I take this x minus 2 number right here, 14, or 4, sorry, and I square it. So 4 times 4 um, becomes 16. 0 squared is always still 0, but then um, 2 um, squared is 4. That's a bad force, right? And then um, 0 and 0 again, 0. So I add up, or I sum up 16 and 4, um, I get 20. So my sum of x minus 2 squared is 20. So this the math isn't that, that complicated, right? We're doing multiplying, maybe as high as um, finding out um, the, the, the square of something adding up. Um, it's just kind of keeping all the bits in order. Um, as we progress this semester, you're going to see I really like this chart over here, this little tally area I reserve for myself. It keeps everything clean because when we start doing things like sum of squares and um, deeper calculations like ANOVA and, and correlation, things like that, you're going to have to do a lot of like this type of um, calculations to be able to get bits to throw into larger equations. So um, I strongly encourage you to keep something like this in your homework just off to the side. It could be in your margin that you just kind of keep everything in, in order. Um, so that's, you know, just a little math review using this sum of symbol. And again, the sum of symbol it, um, is just that, that little, uh, kind of looks like an E, right? Okay. 